Hey, it's Mazzy, Whack-A-Mole number 151. This is the holiday edition. This is being recorded 2022 on Christmas Eve. So for Christmas, for Hanukkah, for any celebration, uh, for the new year, keep warm. I know we have snowstorms everywhere around the country and cold chills. So I decided this time, since it is the holiday season, going behind the secret compartment in my credenza. This is where my holiday records are. So let's do five random picks. That's what a whack-a-mole's about. And I'll just talk and grab about, grab about them, <laughs> grab them and, and talk about them. Um, oh, one of the greatest holiday Christmas albums of all time, Phil Spector's Christmas album, despite what you, your thing is about Phil Spector, this is an incredible record. He was a great producer, had a certain very specific wall of sound. And this is probably one of the most original Christmas albums ever made. Of course, you know, 60 odd years later, uh, we've heard it, in it with so many different variations of these songs, but at the time, this wall of sound with the crystals and the raw nets and, and um, Phil Spector and the artist and Santa Claus Coming to Town, Darlene Love, this is great. Now this was the second cover. The original cover was a white background with all the artists on the cover. Apple Records did issue it, I think in 1970 or uh, so, with this cover. This is a photograph of Bill, excuse me, of Phil Spector with a back to mono button right there, uh, dressed up. But this edition was after the Apple when Warner and Phil Spector put a collaboration label together, Phil Spector Records, Spector Warner basically, it was Warner Brothers. And they use the same cover that they use for the Apple record. This is a promo copy I got that says, with the hope that you will use this in store play. So I got this when this edition came out in the record shop that had their custom Warner Spectre label. And this copy has a press release in it with, I think it has a review from, yeah, review from Rolling Stone, talks about the record. So this is the press kit copy of this fantastic album. Uh, you need this in your collection if you if you have any kind of semblance of a wonderful Christmas holiday collection. So number two. Herb Alpert, Tijuana Brass, of course, you know, I mean, next to uh, Whipped Cream and Other Delights, this is probably the one that so many people had, a dollar bin, 50, do 50 cent bin, 25 cent bin. But it's all these great um, Jewish musicians pretending uh, they're Latino, doing uh, sort of marimba, uh, Latin style, Herb Alpert and Tijuana Brass, Christmas album, of course, produced by Herb Alpert, uh, a &M Records, his label. It has um, the usual rubbish, Christmas song, A Las Mananadas, uh, Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Jingle Bell Rock, strings arranged by Shorty Roberts, but a fun record. I mean, if, if you like that sound, I mean, these are easy records and they're enjoyable records, so that's number two. Oh, wrong compartment. Ah, Freddie Fender. Now, Freddie Fender, uh, this is a, a hybrid Spanish and um, English record. He sings in both. In various songs, he, he kind of goes in and out of Spanish and English. Of course, his big hit that was just a really great crossover is Feliz Navidad. What a great voice. He was part of, uh, he did some, you know, great stuff with Flaco, Jimenez, uh, an accordion on other records, and Doug Psalm. Uh, but this is a really great, enjoyable uh, record on ABC Records. 1970s, I think, it's 1977, this, this edition came out. So. Feliz Navidad, uh, Freddie Fender, Merry Christmas from Freddie Fender. This is just a few years ago, Quality Street, Nick Lowe, a seasonal selection for all the families. It's 45 RPM, so it's an EP basically, but it's got, well, it's got 10 songs on it. Children Go Where I Send Thee, Christmas Can't Be Far Away, Christmas at the Airport, Old Toll Trains, a lot of original things. What a great songwriter. Nick Lowe from the power pop days of Stiff Records and producing Elvis Costello and The Damned and all that you know punk and power pop-ish new wave stuff has become this great sort of elder statesman and a crooner in his own way. 
Uh, and this is a fantastic uh, record of Christmas cheer. Every year I do buy at least one new Christmas record at the end of this. I'll show you uh, the one I picked up this year. Whenever there's a new record out, I like to add one to my collection. So we got two more, is that right? One, one more. This is the last one. Whack-a-Mole's Holiday Edition. <laughs> okay, this doesn't count. This is the original cover of the Phil Spector one. So I do have an original cover of variation, but you can just see, I mean, this is the better edition, even though it's Phil Spector and we know where that went, but um, that's a great cover. This is the original cover. Of course, this doesn't have Phil and it has all the artists. So I guess it depends on your point of view. Uh, this is a cool record, but I already talked about that. So the last one is, ah, Rhythm and Blues Christmas. Uh, Snuff Garrett, the great producer, jazz, bluesy producer, produced this, put this together, curated this together. If you like R&B, if you like soul music and, and rock and soul blues, uh, opens up with a great version by Charles Brown, a Merry Christmas Baby. And it is so uh, wonderful and just a really great, like sexy version of that. Goes into uh, Baby Washington, Clyde uh, McFadder and the Drifters, a great doo-wop group. They do White Christmas, and that's a, that's a killer version of that. Run Rudolph Run is on here by, um, of course, by uh, Chuck Berry and so many others. So this is really a great comp. This came out in the 70s, 50s, 50s, 70s, 1976, I believe this comp came out. And I think this stays in print. So if you get a chance to see it, um, that's it. So this is the Whack-A-Mole Holiday Edition. For the road, I'm gonna just pick one more as a going away. And let's see what happens here. <laughs> okay, I have both versions of Jesus Christ Superstar. I have the original brown box and it was reissued like this. Now, before you yell out, Mazzy, that's not a Christmas record. I play this straight through every Christmas. This is the best version, not Ted Neely. This is Ian Gillum from uh, Deep Purple playing Jesus, I know the reality that this is an Easter record, the last, what, 10 days of Jesus Christ's life. Um, but I love this, and this taught me of the story of Jesus in it. And I just love this record, I love the feel record, I like the production, and I think it's a great, It's to me it's the masterpiece of, uh, of uh, Tim Rice, Andrew Lloyd Webber, so I love this. I do have the box, which is the better, but this is better, I don't care what anyone says, you're wrong if you think otherwise. I know it's subjective, but better than the movie version, better than the Broadway version. And uh, Ted Neely has been playing Jesus for how many, 3,000 years now, 2,000 years or something. But uh, this, except no substitute, Jesus Christ Superstar on Decca Records with the brown label. That's the one you want of this. Yvonne Elliman, too, played Mary Magdalene, who would later uh, tour and play with Eric Clapton for 61 Ocean Boulevard and tour with him. So happy holidays. Thank you for watching. Thank you for a wonderful, wonderful year. And uh, whack a moles will continue, as will rankings, as will uh, personal favorites, record store tours. And um, sometimes I'll take requests, requests, requests maybe. Anyway, take care. Happy holidays, Mazzy. Loves you. And in the end, I forgot to say, my newest pickup this year is a new album by Chris Isaac, where he does some originals as well as some uh, Christmas classics. So every year, one Christmas record. And this is a fun one, of course. I love Chris Isaac. And this is his new holiday record on Sun Record Company label.